All right, back out here to the pawpaw trees. These are the two that are the farthest along in their fruiting flowers. And there's some more up here that are probably going to develop into fruiting flowers. And then there's also this one over here that's going to develop into fruiting flowers at several locations. So what I want to do, and this is a common trick that's used by a lot of people that grow pawpaws, is in order to attract the flies that pollinate pawpaws, they like a uh, rancid smell. So what a lot of people do is they hang, hang up dead fish near their pawpaw trees or even roadkill. Anything that's going to smell over a few days as it decays will attract the flies that pollinate pawpaws. And I don't have any dead animals around here and I don't feel like walking down to the lake and trying to catch fish. But what I've done in the past is I will buy bulk packages of tilapia that comes in a single serve pack and I just defrost it, cut the package open and I don't even hang it up. I just put it somewhere near them. I usually put it like right inside the uh, thing there. Now there's a chance that an animal could come along and eat that like especially if you got cats and I do have cats but uh, for the most part it usually stays there and stays unharmed. So uh, that's kind of how I do it. I'm gonna cut this open. I'll bring you right back. I'm don't have a don't have a stand for my phone, so I just gotta shut the camera off for a minute. So I am not a huge fish eater, and this already smells heavenly. <laughs> I kind of mean that in the most sarcastic way possible. So basically, all I'm doing is just dumping some of the juice. Might as well jump some over here too. Don't know that the juice will stink, but then I'm just going to one-handedly wiggle it out, and there we are. Probably take these little bits and pieces in this next one. Hope and pray the cats or the uh, raccoons or something don't come along. And that's basically what I do. Now, I'll come out here you know, tomorrow, make sure it's still there. If it's not, I'll put another one down. You know, If it gets taken twice then whatever animal is getting it thinks that this uh, free-for-all uh, all-you-can-eat buffet and I'll figure out another way to do it. But last year they stayed there just fine. So that's what I do. You can actually already see a fly just showed up. Check this out. Can you see it down there on that leaf? Flying around. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. How was that for quick? Already on it. So see, it does actually work. Anyways, that's how you, uh, one of the methods that you can use to pollinate pawpaws. The other method is, I mentioned in another video I'll link to above where I go over pawpaws and why you never hear of them and kind of what they taste like and that sort of thing. Um, the other thing you can do is you can hand pollinate them uh, using a Q-tip or something like that. And uh, I go over how to do that in another video I'll link to. So just have a look at that. And uh, as always, if you have any questions, ask in the comments. If you have any tips or tricks that other people could use on the content that I post about, feel free to do so. When I first created this YouTube channel, what I was was a way for me to share my knowledge that I kind of felt like was being lost due to you know, basically most people move into cities and that sort of thing. So I wanted to have a place where people could go and share tips and tricks and knowledge that they have. Um, you know, I uploaded a lot of videos, over 500 videos I've uploaded now. And my channel taken off to a slow start. You know, what can I say? But uh, I think we're up to 900 subscribers now. So uh, that's, that's pretty low when you see like some of these homestead channels will like post one video and they'll have 23,000 subscribers and i'm like i have a video on that same content how come i only have 900 anyways as always thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and god bless you
God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.